Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this short video, I'll show to you guys how you can configure restore points on Windows 11. It's very important to have restore points on your computer because in case that suddenly something wrong is going on with your PC, you can go back to these restore points, which you can create them, let's say, every one month. And if, for example, one update is crashing your PC, you can easily go back to a restore point that you have created previously. The steps to configure restore points are pretty easy and for that we just need to go to search and we type here restore point then it will show you this option here which says create restore point we just click over it in order to open. We can find restore points also over control panel and once we are here we can see that over protection it is off. So in order to configure restore points, we need to click over here, configure. And now we turn on the system protection. In this case, I'm doing system protection or creating restore point for local disk C. And over here, we need to define the maximum disk space used for system protection. As space fills up, all the restore points will be deleted to make room for the new ones. I'm just going to make this 10%, which in this case is 8.2 GB. If you have enough space on your PC, you can make this up to 100% and you will have many restore points on your PC, but it's pretty enough to have only 10%. Once you are done with this, we just click over apply and then we choose OK. And here we are now, my local disk is on protection. If we want to do the same for the other drives, we just select the drive that we want and then we click over configure and we turn on system protection. We define the maximum disk space and then we click over apply and OK. Now to create a restore point in this moment, we select the drive that we want to create the restore point and then we click over create. Now we define a name for this restore point. Let's say I will write this restore point before updates and then we click over create and now it's creating the restore point and here we are the restore point was created successfully we close it and now in order to check the existing restore points or to undo system changes by reverting your computer to a previous restore point we need to select system restore starting system restore and now it will pop up this window which will tell you restore system files and settings we we'll press over next and here we are in my case it's just one restore point that i can use and in order to restore it we press over next and as we can see both of the drives will be affected and we press over finish and my systems will go back to this time which actually it's not necessary in this case. Basically, that's all that you have to do in order to create restore points and to restore your PC from a previous restore point. I strongly recommend that you activate this feature, which is really powerful and necessary on your Windows computer. And the steps are pretty much the same on Windows 10. Thanks a lot for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.